This lecture video is about rational exponents, and we're going to use them to simplify radicals. So our first example here is a to the fourth, and we want the twelfth root of that. And so again, we're going to use radicals, the rational exponents, to simplify this. So we're going to rewrite this so that it has um, a rational exponent. And remember, the exponent is the numerator, and the root is the denominator. So this would be the same as a raised to the four twelfths. Once you do this, then you can simplify this fraction. Four twelfths is the same as one third. And so this is the same as a to the one third. And then when you write that back as a radical, it's the cube root of a. Our next example is the fourth root of 25. And so again, we're going to rewrite this. First, we want to rewrite 25 because currently 25 isn't being raised to a power. But we can rewrite that as 5 squared. And then the fourth root of 5 squared would be 5. Remember, the exponent is our numerator. So it would be 2 fourths. And 2 fourths can be simplified down to 1 half. So this is the same as 5 to the 1 half, which is the square root of 5. Our next example is the fourth root of 64x squared. And um, right now, I just want to reduce this index. Um, and so I'm going to rewrite 64 as something being squared. And so that would be 8 squared. And then we can rewrite this so that we have 8x, the quantity squared. Remember, when you square two things that are being multiplied like this, you have to square both the 8 and the x. So we can rewrite 8 squared x squared as 8x squared. And this was the fourth root. And then rewrite this so that you have a rational exponent. So that would be 8x raised to the 2 fourths. And then you can simplify the 2 fourths down to 1 half. And so we get this to be the square root of 8x. Okay, And so <clears throat> be careful when you're rewriting this, because it's both the 8 and the x that are being raised to the second power. And they're both underneath this fourth root. So you need to make sure that this 8x is in parentheses. Our next one here, b to the 12th, a to the 6th, b to the 6th. So again, we can rewrite a to the 6th, b to the 6th as ab raised to the 6th power. And we're taking the 12th root of that. Rewriting that, we would have ab raised to the 6 twelfths. And that fraction simplifies down to 1 half. And so we would have the square root of ab. Next, we're going to rewrite um, these rational expressions so that they, or these radical expressions, so that they only have one radical symbol. And first, we're going to write them with um, fraction exponents or rational exponents. And the cube root of x is x to the one third, and the square root of x is x to the one half. Now, we want these under the same radical, so that means we want our denominators to be the same. And the common denominator between three and two is six, so we're going to write this as x. And then we want a power so that the denominator is 6. And same thing with the x to the 1 half. We want our denominator to be 6. So I need to multiply this 3 by 2 to get 6. And so I would multiply the 1 on top by 2 as well. So that 1 third is the same as 2 6. And we need to multiply the 2 by 3 to get 6. So multiply the 1 on top by 3, giving us 3 6. And when you're multiplying, since my bases are the same, these are both x's, then we can actually do this multiplication. And we would get x. When you multiply, you add exponents. That would be to the 5 6, not 5 fifths. And then when we rewrite this, it would be the sixth root of x to the fifth. So the goal here is just to have one radical instead of the two that we have to start out with. Next, we have the eighth root of y divided by the ninth root of y. So that would be y to the 1 eighth divided by y to the 1 ninth. And we're going to do the same thing. This time, the common 
denominator between 8 and 9 is 72. So we're going to have y raised to the, we need to multiply this 8 by 9. So that's going to be 9 70 seconds. And need to multiply this 9 by 8, so that's going to be 8 70 seconds. And when we divide, we subtract our exponents. So this is y to the 9 70 seconds minus 8 70 seconds. which gives us y to the 1 over 72. And so that would be the 72nd root of y. In our next example here, we have the 12th root of x and the cube root of x squared. So we want to rewrite that as x to the 1 12th times x to the 2 thirds. Common denominator this time is going to be 12, so I don't have to change the first one. That's just going to stay 1 12th. But I need to multiply this 3 by 4 to get the common denominator, so 2 thirds is the same as 8 twelfths. And when we multiply, we add exponents, and 1 12th plus 8 twelfths is 9 twelfths. We can reduce this fraction. 9 twelfths reduces down to 3 fourths. So this would be the same as the fourth root of x cubed. In our last example, we have the fifth root of 2x times the cubed root of y. So this would be, um, oops, 2x and in parentheses, raised to the 1 fifth, because both the 2 and the x are underneath that radical, and then times y to the 1 half. Again, we just want to get all of this under the same denominator, so we need a common denominator, and we have 5 and 2, so that's going to be 10. Oops. And 1 fifth is the same as 2 tenths, and 1 half is the same as 5 tenths. Now that we have the same denominator, we can write this underneath the same radical. And so this is going to be a tenth root, and it's going to be 2x, that quantity squared, times y to the fifth. And 2x, that thing being squared, is the same as 4x squared. So the final answer is the tenth root of 4x squared y to the fifth. And that finishes off our lecture for rational, exponent, rad, rational exponents used to simplify radicals. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.